What's up you guys, it's your girl Lee, and I am back with another video. You see the thumbnail and the title. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to put together a St. Patrick's theme backdrop balloon garland i'm gonna be i'm gonna basically be giving you guys another balloon garland tutorial because i just know that you guys love that so much and i just like to give you know anyways if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel already please make sure that you go ahead subscribe to my channel give this video a like and also leave me some comments in the comment section below in today's video i'm basically going to be using this backdrop and creating like a big focal point backdrop with you know st patrick's theme colors and stuff like that but shout out to the sponsor for today's video who also sent me this backdrop fancy backdrop thank you so much fancy backdrop for sending me this as you guys saw earlier i was putting it together it wasn't the easiest thing to put together because i didn't get a manual but on the website they do say they send manuals i guess someone forgot to put it in my package so it took me a while to put it together but when it all came together it looked really good it's about seven feet tall and about five feet wide so it's super big i was gonna try to add another arch a wooden arch backdrop to it but this alone by this by itself is like enough like it's so big so i'm going to be using a lot of balloons in today's video but without further ado let's just get straight into this tutorial all right you guys so as i said earlier it is saint patrick's day theme so i'm going to be using different shades of green i had a whole bunch of green balloons in my stash so i've decided like to use most of them and i'm also going to be double stuffing like one shade because i tried it last night and it looked really cute i'm like okay yes i'm definitely using this one so i'm going to be using quality Politics lime green in 11 and 5 inch and I'm going to be using Qualitex green in 11 inch I don't have any 5 inch but I did use the 11 inch balloons to create some 5 inch fillers I have some 16 inches in the Qualitex green as well I have Vitalitex fashion force green in 11 inches and 5 inches Batalitex is now called Sempertex, so if you guys try to find this brand and it doesn't show up, just type in Sempertex, it's the same brand. And I also have gold that I'm going to be using. It's the Amazon brand gold. You guys know that I love that gold. If you guys would like to also purchase that, it'll be in my Amazon storefront or you can find the link in the description box down below. But I'm going to be using that in 11, 11 or 12 inches and five inches and i am going to be using qualitex emerald green and tuftex mustard so i double stuffed these two colors i i put the mustard inside of the emerald green and it gave me this beautiful green color so i'm going to show you guys at first i'm going to show you guys how they look separately and then i'm going to show you guys how they look when they're double stuffed so these are the colors separately this is tuftex mustard it kind of looks yellowish and this is Qualitex emerald green that is a little see-through and I didn't really want to use this one by itself because it looked too um, similar to the Qualitex green and plus I don't like using see-through balloons but this is Qualitex emerald green so if you're not familiar with what double stuffing balloons are it's basically a technique or a method that we use to create custom colors for instance if you need like a lighter blue but you only have dark blue and you have white balloons you can basically stuff the blue balloon the dark blue balloon inside of the white balloon to create a lighter blue and also we double stuff a lot too when we're doing outdoor install it helps with the longevity of the balloon outdoors and yeah as i said custom color so what i'm doing is just inserting the mustard inside of the the emerald green you can use whatever i'm using a pen right now but i'm also going to be creating a video to show you guys like different ways you can double stuff your balloons but most of the times i just use whatever i have around like a pen a pencil as long as it's not sharp i use it to double stuff so i just insert the mustard inside of the emerald green and then i'm going to show you guys what color it creates So I'm not sure if you guys can see like the, let me try to turn the brightness down. All right, so as you guys can see, it, cre it gave me this like beautiful yellow undertone type of green and it's shiny. Like that's what I loved about it when I tried it last night. It like gave me this like shiny look. So 
this is the color that I got stuff in mustard in Quasex emerald green so cute right so I don't want my balloons to have these cone shapes I'm basically going to be releasing some air while pushing down on it to create like a more round shape And because I'm creating organic balloon garlands and I want my clusters to not have the same sizes. So whenever I'm inflating my balloons, I always make sure one is larger than the other. And when you're tying double stuffed balloons, you don't have to worry about tying both necks. I like to just tie the inside necks. Like, so I'm just only, I'm only going to be tying the mustard. And this is how it looks. So I have three pairs right here. And you see that they're, they are all not the same size. For my pair, I always make sure that one is like larger than the other. So first I'm going to be wrapping these two together to create a quad. A quad is just, uh, is just four balloons. So I'm wrapping it around four times. I always do three to four just to make sure that it's secured. And then I'm going to be adding this other pair to make it a cluster of six. So I'm basically just wrapping it in the same way three to four times. And now I have a cluster of six balloons. And this is basically what all of my clusters are going to look like. For some of them, for the, the balloon colors that I have more of, I'm going to be adding like one more pair to make it a cluster of eight. And for the Qualitex Green, since I have a little bit of 16 inches, I'm going to be inflating some 16 inches in my clusters. So this is what all of my clusters will be looking like. So I'm going to speed up this video and then inflate some more balloons and then I will come back and show you guys how I create the garlands. I wish I could just fall in this right now. Okay, you guys, so I have all of my balloons inflated right here. So I'm gonna show you guys how I create my garlands. So basically when I'm creating my garlands, I usually tie them by the neck, but because I do have double stuffed clusters, which are like, a, it's like a tighter cluster, I'm going to be utilizing some 260 balloons to create my garlands. But for the most part, I'm going to be tying my clusters by the neck. When I say that, I mean, I search in each of my cluster for the stretchiest neck and I just tie it onto another neck in another cluster. And it's supposed to look like that. So this is how it looks when I tie both my clusters together. But when I'm attaching my double stuffed cluster, I'm going to be using 260 balloons. So I have some green 260 balloons right here and I'm just going to be tying one end, like tying it into the cluster, probably like two knots just to make sure that it's secured. So I have all of this left. So this is basically the neck for this cluster and I'm going to be attaching it to this one like so. So pushing down the new cluster onto the old one, onto the lime green right here. And then I'm just gonna be wrapping it, basically making a figure eight as if you're using ribbons or fishing line, just wrapping it around one of the um, lime green balloons. Then I come back up and wrap it around like two balloons. Then I go back into my lime green, wrap it, 
come back up to my custom color right here and then I find a neck and tie it onto it. I'm going to be just creating these two garlands and then attach it to the backdrop first. Then I'm going to just take clusters and add them in one by one until I get the look that I'm looking for, until I get the look that I'm going for. But for now, I'm going to start with one of these garlands and attach it to the backdrop. Okay, guys, so since the backdrop is fabric, I can't really like attach 260 directly to the backdrop so I have or I can attach a hook directly to the backdrop so I'm going to be using some safety pins and 260s to create some attachment points so I can attach my garlands so I'm going to show you guys how I'll be doing that okay all right so I have my safety pin right here and I'm going to tie a 260 onto it like I'm going to open up the safety pin first, tie the 260 on, probably create like two knots to make sure that it won't slide off when I open up the safety pin. And I'm also going to create a hoop or a loop. I think it's called a hoop. So this is how my 260 looks and this is the safety pin so when I'm attaching it to the backdrop I'm just gonna open it open up the safety pin and like you know connect it onto the fabric and close it and then I'll have my attachment So I have a hook right here on the wall from a previous project that I might be utilizing too if I need, you know, more attachment points. But I also want to add a hook to the top because I want the balloons to like go through the backdrop right here and come out through the top. So I'm going to go ahead and add like one hook up there. So I think I'm going to use a little bit of tape on the wall first before I add the hook. I had to learn that the hard way. So I'm going to be using these type of hooks and attaching it to the wall. But first, I'm going to lay down some um, tape. I have, I have gaffer's tape right now. I'm not sure if it's going to be enough, but I'm going to test it out. All right, you guys, so far so good. It doesn't feel like it's going to come off at, ho at all. So hopefully it holds up. I pull the backdrop from the wall a little bit just so I have more space to go like behind and stuff. So I do have my first garland right here. So about five and a half feet. I don't think it's six feet yet. It's just five and a half feet. And I'm going to go ahead and add it to the backdrop. I'm going to use this first attachment right here and just put the hoop around one of the balloons. But I'm going to make sure that the balloon is like going I'm gonna make sure the balloon is like going up, like behind the backdrop, because that's the look that I'm going for. So I just wrap that around first balloon. The safety pin is showing, but that is okay. I can hide it later on with like um, filler balloons. So that is okay for right now. And I'm going to use one of these attachments on the side to secure the garland. I'm not going to use that one yet because I have to add like a cluster over there to like cover up all of that space. The vision is to like bring bring as much balloons coming out of the arch as I can. So my first garland is up. Add it right here. I'm just going to tie it into the garland using the next. And like push that inside of the the arch as well i'm just gonna go ahead and use this garland right here it's another short garland that i build i'm gonna use a 260 because this is the double stuffed end and as i said these clusters are tighter so i'm just gonna 
Um, tie the 260 in there first. Make a hoop. So this is how the hoop looks and I'm going to just take this hoop and like wrap it around one of the 11 inch lime green right there. So I'm wrapping, I wrapped it around two of the 11 inch um, lime greens. So now I have enough balloons right here and I'm going to push as much as I can like inside of the arch. I'm just gonna push some in there and now I can use this attachment. I could push some more, hold on. Now I'm just gonna be using this attachment that I have on the side with the safety pin and just wrap it around this, this cluster. I'm just wrapping it around two balloons right here in this cluster. So now I have that garland also secured onto the backdrop. I can also attach it to the bottom um, 260 that I have on the pole. Okay guys, so I have my first cluster of six right here. I'm just going to be attaching it to this lime green that's sticking through the back of the arch. I'm just gonna be attaching it using the, tying it by the neck. And the attachment that I have on the wall that I made a hoop with earlier, I'm just going to be putting that around two of the balloons that's in this cluster that I just added. So now the garland is secured to the wall. Gold is what I'm going to be using as accents. I, I have a hoop around this little cluster. It's just a cluster of four. And then I have a filler, the five inch fillers attached to it as well. So I have a hoop on this cluster and I'm just going to be hooping it around two of the balloons in this cluster. So I have a cluster right here. It's just seven balloons. One of the balloons deflated, but I added an extra 16 inch balloons just so the top of this garland could look like fuller. So I'm going to go in and attach this cluster to this other one, just tying it by the neck. I'm going to go in with some clusters now and fill in all of these holes and some holes at the bottom and bring it together. Then I'm going to go in with some five inch fillers to finish the look off. So I have a small cluster right here of the quad six green. It's just four balloons and I'm going to add it in this space, but I'm going to add it from the back and then push some through. I'm just going to be tying it by the neck. Alright guys, so I have a whole bunch of 5 inch fillers that I inflated off camera. I don't have in every single color, especially the custom color that I made. I don't have it in 5 inch, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. I have lime green, chrome gold. I made some fillers out of the 11 inch Qualtex balloons that I had. And I have some forest green from Sempertex. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these in. I'm going to use 260s because I don't have a lot of rubber bands left. So I'm going to use 260s for some of them. And then for the others, like the chrome gold, I'm just gonna tie it in on the cluster, just tie it in by the neck, just the same way I make the garlands. So I'm gonna speed this video up and go in and add all of my five inch fillers. And then I'm gonna come back and show you guys how I add my large to my garlands.
Okay, you guys. So I have, I have some Starburst balloons. I have it in green and I have it in gold. And I have a sign that I DIY'd. So it's like a pot of gold and I painted it black and gold and it says lucky on there. Also have these clovers and I bought both items at the Dollar Tree. So I don't know if I'm going to add like a clover to the sign or I'm just going to stick some of these clovers like around the backdrop. But we'll see how that works. I'm going to go ahead and add in all of the starburst right now. And I'm not sure if I'm going to add all four of them because the backdrop already looked like a lot so i don't want to do too much you know and i'm going to be using 260 to tie around the starburst just put it around it and then make like one or two knots and make a hoop so it's easier to attach to your balloon and that'll make it easier to attach to your garland have some like mountain double side tape scotch tape I'm going to leave the link for it in the description box below but I'm going to use it to attach the sign hopefully it sticks to the fabric I'm not sure if it will but I think it should so I'm going to use my glue dots and try to attach some of these clovers to the backdrop Let me try and see if it'll stick first. Okay, it sticks. Okay guys, so that is all for this video. If you guys would like to see how the backdrop turned out, just stay tuned to the end of this video. I'll be posting some edited pictures and a video montage to show you like how it all turned out like the full look shout out to our sponsor again for today's video fancy backdrop i'll leave the link to their website in the description box down below so please go ahead and check that out if they provide me with a code for you guys to save some money at checkout i'll just leave it right here so you guys can use the code at checkout and save some money but thank you all for tuning in to today's tutorial if you aren't subscribed to my channel already please go ahead hit that subscribe button give this video a like and also leave me some comments in the comment section below let me know if this tutorial was helpful let me know if you'd like to see more of these type of video and also let me know if you think this backdrop turned out cute i would like to know everything so leave me some comments in the comment section below but that is all and i'll definitely catch y'all in the next video bye